Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can install Side Store on an iPhone. I'm going to use I'm using my uh, brother's iPhone right now cuz um mine is 12.5.7 and yeah, I just can't you can't do it on their Side Store supports here. Side Store works on only iOS 14.0 and higher. Now, we are going I am going to show you the installation process for Side Store on Mac. And then in another video after this, side store on Windows. Because, you know, I have a Mac and then I had my um, old Windows computer. Whatever. Now, first things first, we're going to download these three stuff here. Alt server, side store IPA, and Jigabug, Jitterbug Pair. Now, I've already, already downloaded all three. Jitterbug Pair needs some unzipping, but whatever. Once you've got um all three, all sort... Once you've got a uh, side store IPA, Jitterbug pair unzipped, and alt server running, what you're going to want to do is go to alt server, hold the option key, sideload IPA, connect your phone through cable, or no, before you do this, you're going to connect your iPhone to your MacBook, then you're going to hold option and click on alt server in the menu bar, sideload IPA, and then click on your phone. Then we're going to search for side store IPA here. Now we just need to type in our Apple ID. And then what that's going to do is it's going to send our Apple ID over to Apple for, um, for them to sign our side store IPA here and let them and make it safe to install on our iPhone. So now, after it's installed, it's going to ask for, it's gonna say untrusted developer. What you're gonna need to do, go over to your settings, go to VPN and go general, VPN and device management, then click on your Apple ID and trust it. Now, it's gonna ask for a pairing file here, allow it, then it's gonna ask for a pairing file. Now this is the part where we get where we have to generate our pairing file. Go to your terminal here and then go to the folder with jitterbug pair. And then while it's connected, run it. And it it might say um oh, uh like accept the trust dialog or whatever, but I already did that stuff so I don't need to do that. But basically, if you haven't done the thing already, um the first time you run jitterbug pair, you're going to need to um you're going to need to trust the computer it's going to pop up with a trust dialog you're just going to trust it type in your passcode all that and then run jitterbug pair again and then it's going to pop up with this uh now next thing you're going to do open up two finder windows one with your iPhone and the second one with um in the folder with the uh, mobile device config file that it says right here here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to f click on your iPhone general files and then open up side store here like that and then drag it in to here like that huh weird well one sec gotta let me see if I can yep files there in there's side store I'm gonna drag it huh Wait. Why is this not working? Well, you, as I was going to say, you need to find a way to move this to... You're going to have to find a way to move the mobile device pairing uh, file from here to there. However, I don't know why it's not working right now. One sec. All right, so it turns out what I had to do was I had to disconnect and reconnect the iPhone back to the MacBook. But anyways, once you're done, just drag it over to the side store thingy here in Finder. And 
after that, everything else, I think, happens on, or not everything else, we're going to go to the next part of the tutorial, which is the wire guard, um, wire guard VPN thing here. So, first things first, we're going to have to go ahead and download the wire guard VPN app. Oh, one sec. Oh, no, never mind. Um, you're going to have to download the WireGuard app. Go to open. And then here, we're going to download this WireGuard configuration, which I already have. Then what we're going to do on our Mac is go to the QR code generator.com. Go plain text. And then open up the configuration file using text edit. Here. And then just copy paste everything into here. And then here on the iPhone, we're going to plus, we're going to hit plus, we're going to click plus, and then click on create from QR code, then we're going to put it up to this QR code on our MacBook here, please name the scan tunnel, I'm going to name this side store, save it, allow it, add it, add the VPN configuration, and then just turn it on, and now, we don't need to do anything else with the computer, and from now on, everything on uh, our iPhone here will just be, you know, um, just with the iPhone. So, uh, it's going to ask for our pairing file, since we've only just transferred it and haven't actually opened it. We're going to click on OK here, then go to On My iPhone, Side Store, and then select our pairing file. After that, I'm going to... We're going to go to settings, sign in with Apple ID, and now we're going to type in our Apple ID here and our password. Now it's going to ask me for a um, six digit verification code. I have to be right back because this stuff is censored. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so, oh, never mind, it just arrived on my iPhone. Whatever. It's not. So, it arrived here. I know the code now. I just gotta type in the... The code appears? Okay, well, I have to put it down here so I censor stuff. Alright, you just gotta type in that code. And then you will get signed in. Then just click on got it. And now you have to add source, a source. I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna add something like, I'm gonna add Pojav Launcher here. The test, done. And then we're gonna click on free. Then. is going to install it and basically the side store app is its own server so that's what the vpn is doing it's linking side store to itself so we don't need to do anything like no like we don't even have to do a computer we don't have to use a computer at all however the downside is um you know because it's basically alt store because you have like a free developer account because um, side store and alt store both create a, de a free developer account um, and not a full developer account, which you have to pay for. Uh, Apple, for free developer accounts, actually limit you to seven Apple, seven app IDs. Whoa. Five app IDs. Oh, no. It limits non-developer Apple IDs here to 10 app IDs at a time. So, if you want to install any other apps, you're going to have to delete one of those apps. Or, like, delete the app IDs. And it's close to being finished. So, yeah, I don't even have to, like, if I just quit alt server here, it just still works. I'm going to open it here real quick. As you can see, it works just fine. I can add an account, and uh, yeah, that's about it, but you're, you're going to have to keep both WireGuard and SideStore on your iPhone, though, um, but 
yeah, that's um, that's about it. And you can even add your own sources, and you can also uh, add your own IPAs. Yeah, so it's a fully working alt store. On um, it's a fully working alt store um, on your iPhone here. Um, you have to keep the VPN open so that it can refresh all of the apps in the background because if it doesn't refresh the apps in seven days, then um, it, the app IDs can will expire and you can't do them. You can't basically use them anymore. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.